As a teacher, it would be great if one size fit all in the classroom. You could put together a lesson plan and every kid would easily pay attention, learn, and retain everything you taught them. But that's not reality. Every classroom is made up of a variety of brain types and personalities. Some kids are more visual and can relate to anything artistic. Some kids are more verbal and can tell you the answers to any problem in a conversation, but they can't get it down on a piece of paper. Other kids need to move around in order to pay attention and learn. In a typical classroom, you're likely to have a majority of kids who are able to sit quietly and pay attention during class. But at least one in 10 kids in your classroom may have problems with focus, attention, and hyperactivity, or ADHD. These kids are often brilliant underperformers because they learn differently. When kids are not engaged in learning, they can be unfocused, irritable, embarrassed, depressed, anxious, and disruptive. Managing that takes a lot of your time. As their teacher, you want to teach all of your students, but it can be a challenge to meet the needs of kids with all these different learning styles. One of the most important attributes to be an effective teacher is to appreciate all the different ways that kids learn. When you recognize and work with each student's strengths, interests, and abilities, they will all learn. I'm gonna tell you a secret that's gonna make teaching easier and fun for you and your students. The one thing that all students love to do is play. Now I imagine when I say this, that you're visualizing a room full of wild kids running around, throwing things, dancing on their desks, distracted, goofing off. What I see when I say play is a dynamic conversation, creative writing, exploration, curiosity, a room full of engaged kids, smiling, feeling confident, and learning. Research shows that a playful environment facilitates learning. When you understand that the parts of the brain that are related to ADHD are also related to play, you can use this in the classroom to ignite learning for all of your students. I want you to be an effective teacher to help you reach the goals you set when you became a teacher. You didn't set out in this profession to teach some of the students. You wanted to teach all of your students. As a teacher, the first thing I recommend is that you educate yourself about ADHD. These kids aren't lazy, stupid, or intentionally trying to upset you. ADHD is a brain difference. It takes more input or stimulation for people with ADHD to pay attention and focus. Oftentimes, kids with ADHD engage in behaviors to activate their brains. When they don't have enough stimulation, they can act in dramatic ways, which causes the production of chemicals in their brain that makes them feel more engaged or on. When you understand ADHD and some of the challenges that these students experience, you can take the next step to have a conversation with a student about what they need and how you can support them to activate their brain in a healthy way so that they can pay attention, stay motivated, and learn. Your ADHD Life provides videos, blog posts, and other information to teach you about ADHD and how as a teacher, you can activate your ADHD students so that they're ready to learn. After all, teachers feel most successful when they have an impact on their students. They want kids to learn and kids want to learn.